YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mindy and I share my budget on YouTube. So we went on a trip, a week long trip to Arizona over Thanksgiving break. Uh, I vlogged it semi so I can link to what we did but I thought it'd be really interesting to take you through our vacation budget what we had budgeted and how much we spent and how we track those expenses uh, in our spreadsheet. So I will take you over to our vacation spreadsheet so you can take a look and see how we handle our vacation budget. So we break them down into categories. So you can see up at the top here, we have um, the budget, everything we're expecting to spend, spend how much we have allocated toward each expense. So we have flights, food, entertainment, we have dogs, so we have dog sitting, transportation, and a buffer for a nice round even number. So we had budgeted $2,000 for this trip, but we already had the flights uh, booked out. So we knew that the flights were gonna be $816.80 because we had already had that purchased by the time we filled everything else out. We thought we'd spend about $300 on food, $300 on entertainment, $210 on dog sitting. We have someone house it and watch our dogs while we are gone. Transportation of $150, driving to the airport and paying for parking. And then $223.20 for a buffer. Now the actual amounts are calculated when we uh, take the amount that we spent and then we um, put it in the category that it is allocated. So we bought our flights back in October and we semi travel hacked, I guess. We had two companion passes for our trip. And so we bought two tickets and had two companion passes. So it was about half of what it normally would be. Um, and then I bought tickets to a Christmas light show, which was very cool. Check out our video for that. Um, and that was $40.74. And then we put that in our entertainment budget. Uh, we also went to the Phoenix Zoo, which went into our entertainment budget. Um, and then, so we stayed at my parents' house. So you won't see anything for lodging or housing or anything because my parents live in Arizona and we stayed with them. What was also very generous is they had, we didn't go out to eat at all. And my mom had already grocery shopped. We had kind of planned a menu. It was over Thanksgiving and she had gotten a lot of the food. So what you see here is just a couple trips for things that we were running out of like milk. Um, and then when we were on our way home, we ate food. My husband really likes to golf. So golf went into the entertainment budget. So we can just go through these. So um, we went to the Lego store and got a couple Lego kits for my girls to do at grandma's house. And that was $32. Also went into the entertainment budget. Um, and then we went to a movie. My, we had a couple free tickets. And so that was just for the extra that wasn't covered because they had the really cool reclining seats. Um, and then we had to pay to park at the airport. That was $72 that went into transportation and that's all that we had in there. Um, and then McDonald's and Coast Feed on the way home. We also took some cash. We paid um, for the dogs in cash. So that's why it says dogs and buffer. Uh, we took uh, $200 in cash and $210 for dog sitting. We just took $10 out of our cash to take that. So the actual amount that we spent on flights was $816.80, so we were right on budget with that. Food, we only spent $100.48, so we were under budget by $200. Entertainment was our highest spend amount outside of our flights. It was $218.67. Um, the zoo took a lot, and then golfing took quite a bit, so we were $81 under budget. Dog sitting was right on. We paid $10 per dog and we have three dogs per night and we were gone for seven nights. So $210 and we knew exactly what that would be. 
Uh, transportation was paying for parking, so we were $78 under budget. And then our buffer, $190 um, just in cash that we took, so we were $33.20 under budget. So altogether, we budgeted $2,000 and we spent $1,607.95 for one week in Arizona to visit my parents over Thanksgiving break. So we were under budget by $392.05. So what we're going to do with that is we are just going to keep it in our vacation sinking fund. We are planning a trip over spring break to go to an all-inclusive resort in Mexico. Um, so that'll just go towards that budget. This was a fairly inexpensive trip for us because we stayed at my parents' house and they paid for most of the food. Um, and then we got our two free companion tickets. And that's really why we decided to go because it wasn't going to be super expensive, but it was really nice to go somewhere that it wasn't snowing and see my parents because they, they've been gone for a few months now. Well, thank you so much for watching our vacation budget and let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.